Hey guys, this is Hydra from x -Trade, and I'm back with another weekly video. And um, yeah, this week was a pretty significant one. And um, yeah, I'll go over the general market um, overview and uh, why I'll go over why this, e this week was significant. And I'll go through top tickers that um, we should be watching for the upcoming week. So to start off, as always, we'll go over the indices. We'll, so we'll start off with uh, SPY and QQQ. So pretty significant week for the SPY. Um, we finally are trying to breach this 418.5 level. And uh, yeah, we've been consolidating for what, one, two, three, four, four weeks. And this week we were finally able to break it or touch it at least. And uh, not the strongest close, but really good action um, overall this week, right? So we were finally able to break it on Thursday, and then on Friday we put in a consolidation bar, which is perfectly normal action. And right now it looks really, really good for the bulls. Um, yeah, this is perfect action, what, uh, what you want to see for bulls. And uh, next week we want to see maybe a little bit more consolidation, hold this for 18.5 level, and then uh, continue to push up and make another leg up. But right now the SPY looks really, really good here. And the next target would be 430. Yeah, around 4.30. Um, but yeah, overall it looks pre pretty good here. Next up, we'll take a look at the Qs. So again, QQQ is doing phenomenally well, right? A uh, really, really nice breakout last week. And it actually, yeah, it had four updates in a row. And then on Friday, I put in a consolidation bar. Yeah, this is just really, really good action. Um, bulls have been holding up really, really well. And... Uh, yeah, they're, uh, one sec, we can go to the weekly. Yeah, they've been able to break out of this uh, 331 level very easily. So, yeah, this is looking really good for tech in general because, uh, uh, yeah, the big tech has been holding up really well. But recently, broad stocks have also been uh, performing pretty well. And uh, yeah, I'll go more in depth in that later on. But right now, yeah, really good action for QQQ. And tech in general is has been killing it the last couple of weeks, four up weeks in a row. So a yeah, really good action. Um, and let me check what the next target would be. So again, like SPY, you want to see some more consolidation. And then we want to see if we can set up for set up for another leg up. Um, so yeah, next target would be 362. So a lot of room to the upside here. So yeah, definitely a lot of potential here. And uh, I think this could be the start of a new uptrend. Uh, and the reason I say that is because this entire time we've been basing out and we're finally just breaking this uh, this base, this 331 level. So this is very significant. This is the first time that we actually made a higher high. Uh, so yeah, really good action. Uh, this was the downtrend that started forming in 2021. This is when we first broke it, and uh, yeah, ever since then we've been in the uptrend. But if we if if we actually uh, break the space, then it would be the start of a new uh, bull trend or new new bull market. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, overall it looks really good. And now we'll go into um, some of the big cap tech stocks. Start off with Amazon. Amazon also had a really good week. We finally took out this one thirteen level. And next target would be 125. Let's go to the daily chart. Um, yeah, Amazon had a really strong week, really strong rally on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday last week. Friday put in, or it started pulling back and started pulling back a little bit, but that's uh, as expected. But um, yeah, Amazon looks really, really good here. Um, you want to see some more consolidation, and then yeah, next target would be 120, 121.3, and then. 125 but yeah overall amazon looks pretty good finally took out this 113 resistance so yeah really good stuff for amazon um next up we'll take a look at uh let's do microsoft microsoft didn't have as big of a week but uh let me delete some of this actually i take that back microsoft did have a pretty good week So Microsoft had a really big move 
on this week from earnings and then it consolidated very nicely for two weeks and then this week it followed through and yeah this is really really good action we finally took out this 315 level and uh, yeah now that we're we took this level out the only resistance level would be all-time highs so yeah that's pretty crazy microsoft has room all the way back up to all-time highs now and yeah has no real resistance and is acting really really well um put in a inside bar on friday it didn't even close or it did close right but it opened it closed higher than it opened so really good action ultra supporting it even on a consolidation day um yeah really really good action for microsoft and this one looks ready to get back to all-time highs yeah really nice really nice action um next up we'll take a look at apple so apple looks uh, pretty good here as well took out this 175 resistance level and uh <clears throat> we should see a lot of resistance around the 180 level so uh might take a lot to move apple now since it already made such a big move this year but um yeah it's nearing its all-time highs right so we should see more resistance and uh, some more consolidation would be good had a really strong uptrend so I'd expect a couple of weeks of chop, and then we could be we could see a big uh, base breakout. But overall, looks really really good, and uh, yeah, major resistance at 180, 181 level. Next up, we'll take a look at Tesla. Tesla finally started turning back up this week. Good action. So yeah, I finally retook this 177 level, which I has been struggling to do the last couple of weeks, but finally did that now. Um, we could see another uptrend start so it took out this downtrend last week and uh, yeah now we can see an uptrend finally start again for Tesla first resistance level would be would be around this 189 or 190 level and then second resistance level would be around 207 uh, there is also psychological resistance so like 200 um, but yeah, those are the key levels for Tesla, but right now Tesla looks pretty good, and I think we could see one, 190 easily for next week. Um, next up, we'll take a look at Google. Google has also had a really nice breakout the last two weeks. Really, really strong breakout. Or, yeah, really strong move the last two weeks. Uh, finally, took out that 120 level, and uh, yeah, from here, it has, has some resistance around 129 and then from there it can get back to 143 and then all-time highs so yeah Google has a lot of room up here or a lot of room to continue uh, moving forward here but a uh, really really good action from Google um, started getting extended on Friday so pulled back in but overall really really strong action from Google you want to see some more consolidation wait for some sort of flag to build and it would be a good setup to take for another leg up. Um, let's take a look at Meadow. Meadow is also shaping up nicely here. Finally took out some previous highs. And now it's consolidating right there. So this 244 level could actually be a really good buy the dip area. And uh, yeah, 244 would be a good area to buy. And next next area of resistance would be 256 and then after that 295 and then from there it can get back to 348 and then all-time highs so yeah meta should i think meta has a very good chance of seeing 256 the next week and then we should uh, see some more consolidation but right now this looks really good i think 244 would be a good area to buy and uh, ride to 256 and then sell take profits wait for some more consolidation see if it forms a flag again and if it does then you can take that setup but right now meta looks pretty good as well um next up we'll take a look at uh let's take a look at nvidia everyone's favorite nvidia had a really really strong breakout last week yeah look at our weekly bar really really good action um, from here, it has room all the way back up to all-time highs, really. Um, yeah, it has re yeah, it has no real resistance here, um, but it is getting a little bit extended, so you want to see some consolidation forms. After that consolidation forms, then 
you would want to see if it forms a bull flag and then buy it on the bull flag and then yeah this has room back to all-time highs so yeah really nothing to say for nvidia um but this does have earnings coming up on 524 so watch out for that um amd same thing as nvidia but not as strong nvidia is already back to almost all-time highs while amd still still um it's still in this first base right so MD also really good action in the last two weeks, really strong move, but a lot of resistance at the 104 level, so we'll see how it handles that. Currently, it's doing really well. It just it put in a consolidation bar, and it closed above on the weekly chart above that level, so we'll see if we can build some sort of flag in the next couple of days. So we can just consolidate, I'll put in more bars here, and then break that bull flag, then that would be an A-plus setup. But yeah, MD looks pretty good here as well. Now we'll go over some of the tickers that, uh, some of the growth tickers that have been acting really well the last uh, couple of days. So first, let's take a look at ARKK. ARKK, you can't really see much. It still looks like it's in consolidation, but um, if this level breaks, then it could be a good buy setup. Thirty nine point three. It's been it's been rejected multiple times, right? One, two, three here recently. So if it takes that level out, it could be a good buy. Um, so yeah, that's it for ARKK. Now we'll take a look at UPSD. So UPSD had really nice uh, gap up on earnings. And then it pulled back in pretty hard, but on this day, it rallied really hard. Really nice volume, and then put in a tight consolidation bar, and then formed a little flag here. And then on here, it was a really nice uh, breakout play. But uh, yeah, for now, you want to see, U I think UPSD can easily get back to this 26 level. And once it does that, if it forms a nice flag right below it, then that would be a good setup to stop. Um, <clears throat> AI was another good one this week. Really nice move, really nice volume. Um, and now this one's setting up a flag here. So we'll see what happens with that. But this one also has earnings coming up by 31. So do watch out for that. Uh, but if this one can tighten up more, then this looks like an A-plus setup as well. And the AI theme is very strong. So this is another one. Um, really really strong volume really nice move up last couple of days and now it's starting to consolidate here so we'll see what happens but clear resistance at that 9.17 level and if we can get some more consolidation then this would be a really good setup as well next up dual um this one also had a really nice breakout on thursday um made new all-time highs or not all-time highs but 52 week highs and then on Friday, put in a consolidation bar. So also watching this one, if it can take out that 152 level, then we should be good to go for another leg up as well. Yeah, really good action from this one. Palantir, this one had an incredible move uh, last week. So again, like UPSD, strong earnings gap up, made a move, uh, consolidated, built a little flag here, and this was the perfect buy setup. Um, so yeah, on 5.17 would have been a good buy, and then it followed through very nicely, and then it started getting a little extended, so on Friday it did pull back a little bit, but still close, pretty strong. And on the weekly, you can see that if it takes out this 11.5 level, next resistance would be 14.2, so this one has a lot of room up. And again, take a look at that weekly volume, right? This is, this is a sign that institutions are buying. This is clear, uh... Yeah, it's a clear sign that institutions are buying because look at these volume bars compared to the volume bars before. Uh, they're like skyscrapers compared to the volume bars before. So, yeah, clear sign that institutions are loading up into the stock once again. And uh, last stock, take a look at Uber. Uber also made a really nice move on Thursday. And if it can take out this 39.25 level or 39.5, then this one looks good for uh, breakout, uh, breakout higher again, to break out higher again. Um, but yeah, Uber looks really, really good. Uh, very strong stock since that earnings gap up. And I would say next resistance level would be, would be 44. And uh, yeah, that would be a pretty good risk reward trade. So yeah, those are my top watches for the upcoming week. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I hope you guys have a good uh, next week. Yeah.